All right, everybody, let's get started, please. Welcome to Bikram Yoga. I start with pranayama breathing, standing deep breathing, good for your lungs, good for your respiratory system. You start with your feet together, please. Toes, heels touching side by side. Interlock your 10 fingers, nice and tight. Glue your knuckles to your chin. Relax your shoulders down, shift your body weight into your heels, look forward one point, concentrate, meditate, have a great class. Begin please, inhale, head down, elbows lift up, open up your chest, fill up your lungs to the maximum, full lungs. Exhale, push your head back, mouth wide open, let your head fall back, look for the wall, bring your arms forward away from your chest, arms touch, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, Elbows lift up. Slowly, gently bring your head down until your chin is parallel to the floor. Elbows lift up. They're trying to touch the ceiling. Exhale. Mouth wide open. Eyes wide open. Look for the wall behind you. Chest up. Spine straight. Shoulders relaxed. Arms touch. Elbows touch each other. Inhale. Head down. Elbows lift up. Stomach in nice and tight. Compress your abdomen muscles. Fill up your lungs more this time. Full lungs. Exhale, push your head back, force the air out of your lungs, making a ha sound coming out of your throat until your lungs are completely empty, elbows touch each other. Inhale, deep breath, head down, lift your elbows up, stomach in, stomach in, stomach in, hold your stomach in, don't let go. Exhale, push your head back, push the chin back, 10 fingers interlocked, knuckles with your chin, Arms forward away from your chest, arms touch, elbows touch. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, elbows touch. Inhale, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, expire, exhale. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, elbows touch. Inhale, deep breath, head down, lift your elbows up, stomach in nice and tight, fill up your lungs more and more and more. Exhale, gently, slowly. The slower you do, the better you do. Relax the back of your neck, arms forward, away from your chest, arms touch, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, elbows lift up, Stomach in tight, open up your chest. Your rib cage should be sticking out visible in the front mirror. Exhale, push your head back. Look back, look back, look back, look back, look back, all the way back. Shoulders relaxed, arms forward, elbows touch each other. Inhale, deep breath. Every inhale deeper than the last one, stronger than the last one, better than the last one, full lung capacity. Exhale, push your head back, push the chin back, keep the spine straight. Keep the shoulders relaxed, arms away from your chest, arms touch, elbows touch. Inhale, deep breath. Inhale as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Exhale, push your head back, push the chin back, stomach in more guys, stomach in more, stomach, 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 and in, 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 empty, empty, empty. Inhale, last one. Make it the best one you've done so far. Fill up your lungs to the maximum. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, full lung capacity and exhale. Push your head back, gently, slowly. Look back, arms forward, elbows forward. Lungs completely empty, elbows touch each other. Good, arms down by your side. Margaret, your camera is frozen for some reason. If you wanna uh, take care of that, let's start again, second set. Please feet together, toes, heels touching. And again, interlock 10 fingers, knuckles glued to the chin. Thank you, Margaret. Relax the shoulders, chest up, spine straight. Second set, ready, start, please. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows touch, inhale, uno. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Hold it in for a second and exhale. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Elbows touch. Inhale. Let's go. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs. Full lungs. Exhale. Go. Eins, zwei, drei, 
4, 5, 6, Elbows, Touch, Inhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Hold it, Exhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Elbows, Touch, Inhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Exhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Elbows, Touch, Inhale, Head Down, Lift your elbows up. In six counts, your lungs should be at the maximum expansion capacity. Full lungs. Exhale. Concentrate, guys. Look back. Look back. Look back. Look back. Chin up. Arms up. Elbows up. Arms forward away from your chest. Elbows touch. Inhale. Head down. Lift your elbows up. Stomach in tight. Fill up your lungs more and more and more. Full lungs. Exhale. Exhale with your mouth wide open. Let it all out with control making a ha sound until your lungs are completely empty. Inhale, head down, lift your elbows up, stomach in tight, fill up your lungs more and more and more each time. Exhale, push your head back, push the chin back, look all the way back, keep the spine straight, please, no backward bending, arms touch, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, lift your elbows up. Last few breaths, guys. You're warming up your body from the inside out, circulating fresh oxygen throughout. Exhale, mouth wide open. Look all the way back. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Shoulders relaxed. Shoulders relaxed. Arms touch, elbows touch. Inhale, deep breath. Inhale as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Full lungs. Exhale. Exhale as much as possible as long as possible, as slow as possible. Empty your lungs. Inhale. Last one, guys. Make it the best breath of your life. When you think you cannot breathe anymore, take another sip on top of that. Your lungs can take it. Exhale on your own. Take your time. Gently, slowly. The slower you do, the better you do. Lungs completely empty. Arms touch. Arms down by your side. Fantastic. From now on, your breathing should be normal through your nose. Please keep your mouth closed. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through your nose. First posture, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Keep your feet together. Inhale, arms up over your head. Palms touch. Interlock 10 fingers. Release the index. Your thumbs should be crossed. Nice and tight grip. Do not lose this grip. Stretch up out of your waist. Touch the ceiling. Bend your body right and left and right and left and right and left several times. Right and left, right and left, right and left, several times. Stretch up and over to the right, stretch up and over to the left. When you cannot stretch anymore, please stop in the middle, stand still. Look forward, everybody. Now let's set up the posture. Elbows should be locked, arms touching your ears, biceps touching your ears. Hips forward, pelvis open, upper body back a couple of inches, chest and rib cage should be open. Throughout the posture, maximum body weight should be in your heels. And again, inhale, breathing, take a deep breath, stretch up, lift up, touch the ceiling one more time. Slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. That's it, Teresa, not too much. That's it. You stay there for today. That's your yoga for today. Look forward, everybody. Push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. Create a tremendous stretching feeling down the left side of your body. All over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to your toes. Hips forward more towards the front. Push your hips forward more. Bring your upper body back more. Bring your arms back more. Keep your chin away from your chest. Your throat should be visible forward in the front. Pamela, arms touching your ears. Dear, no gap between the arms and the ears. Good, keep them touching. Left hip forward more. Uh, uh, Kevin, left hip forward, everybody. Left hip forward, more forward, Kevin. More forward, left hip a little bit more forward. More forward, more forward, left hip. Good, that's it. Now the two hips are in line. Right shoulder more forward, opening up your chest. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, come back up. Beautiful, Kevin. Other side. Arms back, body back. Keep your chin up. Inhale again. Lift up, stretch up. Touch your fingertips to the ceiling. Slowly bend your body to the left. Absolutely straight line without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. Create a tremendous stretching feeling down the right side of your body all over inside out, 
bones to skin, fingertips to your toes. Hips more forward, please. Upper body back more. Maximum body weight should be back in your heels. Keep your chin away from your chest, guys. Your throat should be visible forward. Bring your arms back. Bring your head back. Bring your upper body back more towards the back wall. Your chest should be opening up like a flower petal blooming. Push the right hip forward more. Keep your two hips in one line. Left shoulder forward more, opening up your chest. Come down deeper. Push and push and push. Inhale, come back up. Very good. First backward bend, take a deep breath, drop your head back as far as it goes, lock your elbows and bring your arms back immediately, go and touch the wall behind you, bend your spine from your coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, your total spine should be backward bending, push your upper body back as if you're going to fall down backwards, maximum body weight should be in your heels, inhale, take a deep breath, push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward towards the front, arms back, Look back, go back, fall back, way back, more back. Inhale, come back up. Gently bend your knees, bring your body down. Put your hands on the floor. Hands on the floor. Move your hips right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Several times, move your hips, move the right hip, move the left hip, right and left and right and left and right and left and right and left. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. This is a U-turn coming from a back bend to a forward bend. Your spine is not warmed up yet. Be gentle, be careful. Move the hips right, left, right, left, making sure your lower back feels nice and loose, comfortable, easy, flexible. Next is Pada Hastasana. Bend your knees, go and grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Your baby fingers touching side by side. Get a good grip under the heels and pull. Pull your heels as much as possible. Stretch your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, your chest on your knees, face touching your legs below your knees from the side. Your body looks like a Japanese ham sandwich. There is no gap anywhere. Roll forward like a wheel. Bring your maximum body weight in your toes. Lift your hips up to the ceiling as you exhale slowly, gently. Push your knees back towards the back wall. Try to lock both knees. Tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation all over underneath your legs. Coccyx to the toes, bones to the skin. Push your knees back. Lock your knees. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Lock your knees, touch your face to the legs, lock your knees, roll forward, lock your knees. Last chance, everybody, lock your knees. Inhale, come back up, arms and head together as you come back up. Lift up, stretch up one more time and exhale, arms by your side. Good, head up, chin up, breathing through the nose, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Second set, try again, feet together, arms up, palms touch, interlock 10 fingers, release the index, thumbs crossed. Arms back, body back, chin up. Inhale one more time, everybody. Take a deep breath. Let's go. Breathing, inhale, stretch up, touch the ceiling and go. Bend your body to the right without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. It's tremendous stretching feeling down the left side of your body. All over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to your toes. Your palms together, guys, palms together biceps touching your ears you can come back out a little bit but do not lose the alignment upper body should be back your hips should be pushing forward hips and thighs should be contracted your glutes and quads should be nice and tight contracted body weight should be in your heels lift up out of your waist up and over to the right side push the hips to the left second step everybody come down deeper push come down and push not you teresa everybody else come down and push 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 inhale come back up good you've got to be easy teresa Arms back, hips forward, chin up. Inhale again, take a big inhale, fill up your lungs, stretch up, touch the ceiling and go. Bend your body to the left, push your hips to the right. Maximum stretching down the right side of your body. Maximum opening of the right side of your body. Arms back more, Katie, arms back more, upper body back more. As far as it goes, guys, your arms go back, your chest is opening up. If you lean forward, the chest will close. You don't want that to happen. 
You want the chest to open. You want the rib cage to open. The whole right side of your body should be opening up in the right side. Lock your elbows more in. Lock your elbows more. Don't compromise the form for the depth. Hips more forward, upper body back. Right hip forward more in. Right hip more forward in. A little bit more forward. A wee bit more forward for you as well, Kevin. Right hip a little bit more forward. Good. Now come down. Squeeze the palms together and amazing. Come down. Push and push and push. Bravo and amazing. Good one. Second backward bend. Take a deep breath. Draw up your head back. Look back. Look back. Look back first. Close your mouth, please. Keep your elbows locked. Palms together, Isabel. Palms together. Nice and tight, everybody. And go. Take a deep breath. Arms back. Arms back. Arms back. You've got to look where your body is going, guys. You've got to look back. Look at the wall. Look at the floor. Don't get stuck at the ceiling. Look at the floor behind you. Elbows locked more, everybody. Elbows locked, Pamela. And elbows locked. Lock your elbows nice and tight. Palms together nice and tight. Arms back. Look back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Fall down backwards. Fall down backwards. Inhale, come up. Wow, Margaret. That was awesome. And exhale, gently bend your knees. Come down. Put your hands on the floor in front of you. Move your hips right and left, 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 right and left. Move the right hip, move the left hip, hips down, hips up, hips down, hips up. Squat down a couple of times. Relax the shoulders, relax your neck muscles. Make sure you are breathing here. It's an inversion posture. It's gonna pump, send high speed, fresh oxygenated blood into your brain, energizing the brain cells, waking you up. If you're in Canada, 6 a.m., Jesus Christ. Let's go. Are you ready? Oh, no. Then the kill is even worse. 4 a.m., double Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. 4 a.m. Who does 4 a.m. Bikram yoga? Kayla, oh, my God. Let's go. Bend your knees. Go and grab your heels. Get a good grip under the heels. And let's go. Pull, 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 pull. You've got to pull. Pull the body down, touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face touching your legs. Touching, bend your knees more. Your face should be touching. That is the priority before you straighten out the legs. You straighten out your legs with your face touching the legs. Roll forward like a wheel, maximum body weight in your toes. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Use the biceps, everybody. Let's go. Turn it on. Roll forward like a wheel, body weight in your toes. I repeat, maximum body weight in your toes. Lift your hips up. Push your knees back. Lock your knees. Contract your thighs. Pull harder. Lock your knees. Everybody, lock your knees. Last chance. Lock your knees. Inhale, come up. Arms and head together as you come up lift up stretch up one more time and exhale arms down by your side fantastic everybody let's go awkward pose right foot steps to the right six inches apart feet parallel to each other like a capital letter h exactly parallel arms are parallel to the floor elbows locked your tricep muscles should be contracted nothing loose nothing hanging chest is lifted spine straight stomach sucked in everybody sit down feet flat position sit down until your hips touch the chair imaginary chair pamela you open your feet a little bit more pamela a little bit more that's it good now keep the arms straight and five fingers together straight toes turn turn your toes in a little bit pamela don't let your free feet turn out good exactly parallel that's amazing all five fingers together all five fingers together. They are stretching forward. You are trying to touch the wall in front of you. That's awesome. Elbows locked, everybody. Knees open, Isabel. Your feet should be open, Isabel. Six inches between the feet, toes, heels. Look forward, everybody. Lean back. Go back. Now try to fall down backwards. Inhale, come back up. Second part. Keep your arms there. Stand up maximum on your toes like a ballerina on your tippy toes, on your tippy toes, maximum on your toes. Look forward one point. Don't even blink your eyes. You will lose your balance. Spine straight, everybody. Chin up, please. Look forward. Don't look down. Stomach can sit down on the top of the toes. Spine straight position. Spine straight position. No leaning forward. Lean back. Upper body back. Chest is lifted. Spine straight, sitting down, stomach sucked in, everybody. Come up higher on your toes. Arms lower, Teresa. Arms a little bit lower. Relax the shoulders. Work out the triceps. Sit down until your hips touch the chair. Hips should not go down below the chair. Inhale, come back up. Second part done. Third part. Keep your arms there. A little bit on your toes. Touch the knees together. Touch your knees. 
spine straight, stomach can sit down. So you come off the heels, please. Your heels do not touch the floor. Heels off the floor. You're on your toes, on the balls of your feet. Sit down all the way, spine straight position. Upper body leaning against the back wall. Five fingers together, guys. Five fingers together. Open your arms, Isabel. That's too close. That's it. Stomach in everybody. Keep the knees together and forward so your thighs are parallel to the floor. Arms are parallel to the legs. Spine is 90 degrees from the side. Your body looks like a box. Keep the knees together. Inhale. Take a deep breath and slowly come up. Leaning against the back wall, slowly come back up, spine perfectly straight, feet together, arms by your side. Good, relax, let it go. Take a deep breath. Second set, right foot steps to the right, six inches apart. Feet are six inches, 15 centimeters apart, at least. Whatever your hips, anatomy of your hips are, if they are wider, you need a wider step. Feet parallel, arms are parallel. Stomach in everybody, are you ready? Stomach in, hold it in, sit down. Sit down, feet flat position. Do not let your feet come off the floor. Your 100% body weight should be in your heels. Look forward, suck your stomach in, compression of your abdominal walls, contraction of your abdominal muscles, suck your stomach in, tightening it up and hold it in, don't let go. Lift the chest. Up, lean your upper body back. Now go back, lean back. Try to fall down backwards. Inhale, come back up. Good one, Kayla. Second part, keep your arms there. Stand up maximum on your toes. Maximum, maximum, like a ballet dancer. On your tippy toes. One day only on your big toe. Everything stretching up like a traction towards the ceiling. Spine straight position, sit down. On the top of your toes, do not let your heels come down, guys. Work out your ankles, the heels, the calf muscles in this posture. Maximum on your toes. Keep pushing the heels forward. Maximum on your toes. All five fingers together, Pamela. Keep the fingers together. Good. Sit down, Pamela. Sit down a little bit lower. You can do it. Spine straight, upper body back. Teresa, maximum on your toes. Inhale, come up. Good one. Third part. Keep your arms there. A little bit on your toes. Touch the knees together. Ready. Sit down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Spine straight, stomach in. Arms nice and strong, guys. Elbows locked, please. Triceps contracted. Very slowly bounce a couple of times. Bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and hold still. Stomach in. Slowly come back up for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Good one, Kevin. Feet together, arms by your side. Relax, breathe. Garurasana, eagle pose. Inhale, bring your arms over your head sidewise. Bring your right arm under your left arm. Cross at the elbows. Twist at the wrists. This is opening up the 14 major joints of your body in this posture. Pull your elbows down so your fingertips go below your nose. Stomach in everybody. Sit down on the chair. Sit down on the chair. Lean back. Stay down. Lift your right leg up and over the left leg as high as possible. Put your right foot around the left calf muscle. So all five toes are visible forward. There should be no gap between your ankle and your calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more, twist your legs like ropes are twisting into each other. If you are losing your balance, bring your upper body back more. Keep pulling your elbows down, stomach in everybody, sit down a little bit lower, arch your upper body back at the end, change, come back up, other side. Inhale, arms up, take a deep breath, arms over your head, left arm under the right arm. Cross at the elbows, twist at the wrists, Pull your elbows down. Pull the elbows down so your fingertips go below your nose. Fingertips should not go higher than your nose. Sit down on the chair. Hips back and down, guys, like awkward first part. Hips go back and down, all the way back. Sit down, lean back. Go ahead. Left leg lift up and over the right leg as high as possible. Put your left foot around the right calf muscle so all five toes are visible forward in the mirror. If your foot is coming out, sit down more, twist your legs like ropes. If you are losing your balance, bring your upper body back more. You've got to arch the upper body back. It's a backward bend. Stomach sucked in, sit down a little bit lower. 
pull your elbows down more, upper body back one more time, change, come back up, other side, take a deep breath, second set, arms over your head, and go right arm under the left arm, <clears throat> make sure you're breathing please, stomach in tight, sit down on the chair, lean back, and go, right leg over the left leg, cross and twist your legs, nice and tight, creating a tourniquet effect into the 14 major joints of your body in this posture. Looking good, Pamela, that's amazing, good form. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left. So feet, knees, elbows, hands, all in one line in the center of your body. Point the toes, Kayla, point the toes back. Stomach in, sit down a little bit lower, second set. Pull your elbows down more, second set. Upper body back, upper body back, upper body back, change, come back up. Inhale, arms up, second set, take a deep breath. Last one, arms over your head and go zoom. Left arm under the right, stomach is sucked in. Sit down on the chair, lean back, ready and go. Left leg up and over the right leg as high as possible. Cross and twist, last posture, last side. Look forward, bring your knees to the left upper body to the right, align your joints in the center, everything in the center. Your two hips should be in one line. Your two shoulders should be in one line. So one shoulder should not be higher than the other. Align your shoulders, stomach in, like awkward first part, hips go back and down, pull your elbows down, upper body back at the end. Change, come back up, bravo guys, that was awesome. Inhale, arms over your head, arms by your side, party time. Have a sip of water if you'd like. How's it going, everybody? Good, fantastic, great. If you're done with your water, come back to the middle of your mat, please. For standing head to knee. Feet together, arms by your side, lift the chest up, look forward, close your mouth, breathe through the nose. Inhale through the nose, exhale through your nose. Standing head to knee. Dande Amana Janu Shirasana. Shift your body weight into your left leg. Interlock 10 fingers, grab your right foot in front of you. 10 fingers interlocked grip, grab your right foot, concentrate on your standing leg, lock your left knee, contract your left thigh, left leg should be solid, concrete one piece, like a lamp post, it is unbroken, you have no knee, lock your knee, inhale breathing, slowly, gently, right leg lift up and stretch forward, until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Isabel, there's no point in doing that, Isabel. Just grab the foot. You try to grab the foot. You're not kicking yet, Isabel. Just try to grab the foot so you can grab the knee and walk the hands down the shin. Try to grab the heel, grab the foot. That's more important than kicking out. So grab the foot, keep the standing leg locked, Kick the heel out, everybody. Flex your foot right away. Make your legs 90 degree angle from the side. Legs look like an upside down L like Lydia. If you can balance there comfortably, bend your elbows down to the floor. Elbows touch the calf muscle. Eventually your elbows should go down below your calf muscle. Lock both knees, contract your thighs, change. Come back out, other side. Shift your body weight into the right leg, interlock 10 fingers, grab your left foot in front of you, grab your foot, get a good grip, nice and strong grip, 10 fingers interlocked grip, don't lose this grip, concentrate on your standing leg, lock your standing leg, lock your right knee, contract your right thigh, right foot flat on the floor, right knee locked, inhale breathing, Left leg lift up and stretch forward until your left leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Take a deep breath, everybody, and kick with your left leg heel out. Turn your foot in from the ankle towards your face. Your left leg should be exactly perpendicular to the floor. Both knees locked, your thighs contracted. 
Legs look like a 90 degree angle, perpendicular, exactly. If you can balance there, bend your elbows down to the floor, elbows touch the calf muscle. Eventually your elbows should go down below your calf muscle. Keep kicking, lock both knees, change. Come back out, good work everybody. Put your hands on your hips, do a backward bend one second and arms by your side. Go ahead, second set. Shift your body with right leg, interlock 10 fingers. Grab your, shift your body with left leg. Grab your right foot, second set, let's go. Grab the right foot, lock your left knee, contract your left thigh muscle, left leg solid concrete, inhale breathing. Go ahead, right leg lift up and stretch forward. Keep the left knee locked, keep your right knee locked. If your standing leg is bending even half a millimeter, your posture has not started yet. Lock the left knee, lock your right knee, both knees locked, bend your elbows down to the floor. Elbows go below the calf muscle. Keep kicking, relax the shoulders, Margaret. Relax the shoulders and slowly tuck your chin to the chest. Bring your head down, touch your forehead to the knee. Both knees locked, keep kicking without stopping, without intermission, lock your knees. Lock your knees, change, good one, Kevin. Other side, last one. Shift your body weight into the right leg, interlock 10 fingers, go ahead, grab your left foot, get a good grip, nice and tight grip, nice and strong grip. Concentrate, guys, think about your standing leg, think deeply about your right knee, lock your right knee, contract your right thigh. Inhale, breathing, go ahead. Left leg lift up and stretch forward until your left leg is parallel to the floor. You're not pulling so much on the foot, guys. Your leg is kicking into the hands. Kick the heel out, both knees locked, your thighs contracted. You can balance, bend your elbows down, leg up a little bit higher and, and then bend your elbows down. And keep that leg, keep using, use your Bengal tiger strength to keep the leg where it is. Just bend your elbows down. Then slowly tuck your chin to the chest. Bring your head down, touch your forehead to the knee. Keep kicking, leg up higher, Kevin, leg up higher and keep kicking. Kick out, Kevin, kick out, flex the foot, all the toes towards your face, lock both knees, lock your knees, lock your knees, chain. Good one, Kevin, come back out, hands on your hips. One more time, do the back bend one second, arms by your side. Standing bow pulling pose, Dande Mana Dhanurasana, right hand up, palm facing up, elbow touching your body, turn it to the right, bring your arm down, Grab your right foot from the inside at the ankle. Grab your foot, left arm stretch up to the ceiling, your chin close to your shoulder. Knees in line to start. Look forward, everybody. Left arm more up, Katie, more up. The arm should touch the side of your face. The left arm should touch the side of your face. Inhale, take a deep breath and go. Charge your body forward. Now go and touch the front mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your right leg back and up. Right foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror in the center. Body down lower. Left hand fingertips stretch forward more. Go and touch the front mirror. Left shoulder blade scap it up. Coming out of your body, go and touch the front mirror, right shoulder behind the left shoulder, shoulders in one line in the center, body down, kick up, chest down, kick up, turn it on, kick up. The harder you kick, you can balance here forever. Body down, kick up one more time. Change, come back up. Good one and good one, Margaret. Other side, left hand up. Let's go, guys. Palm facing up, turn it to the left. Grab your left foot from the inside. Grab the foot, right arm stretch up to the ceiling. Your chin close to your shoulder already from the start. Breathing, guys, look forward, please. Close your mouth. Take a deep breath like pranayama, full lungs and go. Charge your body forward. You are trying to touch the wall in front of you. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen, chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your left leg back and up. Left foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. Body down lower, kick the leg up harder. Right hand fingertips stretch forward, guys. Your right shoulder blade scapula coming out of your body. 
try to touch the shoulder to the chin. Left shoulder goes behind the right shoulder, shoulders in one line in the center. Body down, kick up, chest down, kick up, turn it on, kick up. The harder you kick, you can balance here forever. Body down, kick up one more time. Chin, come back up. Good one, guys. Feet together, arms down, head up, chin up. Breathing, breathing. Breathing, you guys rocked it, Kevin and Anne. Let's go second set. Go ahead, right hand up. Turn it to the right. Grab your right foot. I guess I'll have to go watch Titanic alone. You are both balancing now. Grab the right foot, left arm stretch up. Knees in line, breathing through the nose. Take deep breaths. Fill up your lungs to the maximum. Full, full lungs and go. Charge. Take it easy, guys. Go slow, but you got to keep moving. You got to go slow, but keep moving until your abdomen and your chest are parallel to the floor that will turn on the cardio that will turn on the pressure for the heart stretch the fingertips forward kick the right leg back and up stretching kicking 50 50 equal simultaneous stretching kick stretching kick body down kick chest down kick everybody kick last chance kick kick up more kick up harder kick up one more time change come back up last one other side left hand up turn it to the left grab your left foot are you ready? Grab the foot, right arm stretch up, knees in line, breathing through the nose. Take a deep breath, full, full, full lungs and go. Charge your body forward. Look one point in the wall, at the, in the mirror. Look forward, don't even blink your eyes. Breathe through the nose, guys. Breathe through the nose, mouth closed. Stretch your fingertips forward. Kick the left leg back and up. You kick so hard, it pulls the left shoulder invisible behind the right shoulder. Shoulders in one line. Good one, Elaine. Now body down, Elaine. Turn it on. Kick the leg up harder. The harder you kick, you can balance here forever. Charge your body forward. Touch the wall in front of you. Don't stop stretching, Isabel. Your palm facing the floor. Kick the leg up to the ceiling. Kick up harder. Kick up more. Stretch and kick. Stretch and kick. Stretch and kick. And kick. And kick. And kick. And kick. And kick, and kick, chain, come back up. Good one, Teresa. Feet together, arms by your side. Let it go. Take a deep breath. Breathing through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Next is Tula Dandasana, balancing stick posture. Step to the back of your mat, please. For 10 seconds zone, Lee, let's stretch the body in equal and opposite directions. Let's go feet together, arms up, palms touch, interlock 10 fingers. Release the index, thumbs crossed. Arms back, body back, chin up, please. Your chest is open. Inhale, take a deep breath, full lungs. Right leg step forward, big step. Lock both knees, go. Body down, leg up, chest down, leg up. Until your arms, body, head, leg, everything is parallel to the floor. From the side, your body should look like a capillary T as in Tom, not a broken umbra umbrella. Point the toes back, stretch your fingertips more forward. Body down, Isabel. Lock your elbows, Isabel. Stretch and stretch and stretch chin good one come back out other side inhale breathing take a deep breath fill up your lungs again left leg step forward big step lock both knees come body down leg up chest down leg up every muscle in your body should be contracted biceps touching your ears pamela biceps touch the ears bring your head down more bring the body down more and leg up a little bit higher stretch the body in equal and opposite directions everybody stretch and stretch and stretch change come back out good one pamela arms by your side head up chin up breathe through the nose close your mouth second set feet together arms up palms touch interlock 10 fingers release the index Arms back, body back, take a deep breath. Right leg, Teresa, right leg, right leg, step forward, big step, lock both knees, go. Body down, leg up, chest down, leg up. Every muscle in your body contracted, get your leg up, pointed toes, leg up, stretch your body equal in opposite directions, but stretch forward more, stretch forward more, go and touch the wall, stretch, 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 change. Come back up, other side, last one. Inhale, fill up your lungs again. Full, full, full lungs. Left leg step forward. Big, big, big step. Lock both knees. Go. Body down, leg up. Chest down, leg up. Stretch your body in equal and opposite directions. Keep your stomach sucked in. Leg to the right, Katie. Going too much on the left. A little bit more to the right. A little bit more to the right. Yes, Katie. Now stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. Chain. Come back up. Good one, Katie. Good control. Arms by your side. Head up, chin up. Find your position for standing separate leg stretching. Dande mana bipakta para pashi 
feet together please inhale arms over your head sidewise right leg step to the right big step four feet big step arms down parallel to the floor heels in one line on the floor feet slightly pigeon toe turn the toes in slightly knees locked your thighs contracted stomach sucked in arms down pamela keep your arms back chin up stomach and bend your body forward look forward chin forward stretch forward you might need a bigger step, Pamela. Maybe a little bit of a bigger step. Yes, good, much better. Four feet, minimum four feet. Grab the heels from the outside. If you cannot grab your heels, grab the outside of your feet. Get a good grip. So all five fingers under the foot or under the heel. Use the thumbs as well to pull the body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Try to touch your forehead to the floor. Roll forward like a wheel. Maximum body weight in your toes. Roll forward, Pamela. Roll forward. Maybe take a shorter step again. This is much more easier for you. Make it a little bit more challenging. Good. Much better. Good. So much better. Now roll forward. Body weight in your toes. It will help you to lock your knees. Your knees should be locked throughout the posture. Your thighs should be contracted throughout the posture. Roll forward. First, your legs are stretching. Then your hips are stretching. Then your lower back is stretching. Your whole back is stretching. Your whole body is stretching 360 degrees from your coccyx to the toes, from your coccyx to the neck. When you touch your forehead between your feet, roll forward, pull harder, Katie. Keep pulling, Katie. Pull even more. Pull and stretch. Pull and stretch, forehead to the floor. Inhale, come up slowly, come back out. Spine straight, come up, feet together, and arms down by your side. Head up, chin up, breathing through the nose. Second set, one more time. Feet together, inhale, arms up. Right leg step to the right, big step. Four feet, big step, arms down parallel. Heels in line, turn your toes in slightly. Knees locked, please. Your thighs contracted. Stomach sucked in. Bend your body down, look forward, chin forward, roll forward, come down all the way, go and grab your heels. If you cannot grab your heels, grab the outside of your feet, get a good grip. Second set, are you ready? And go and pull and pull and pull and pull, roll forward and pull. Kayla, if you do nothing else, just bring the body down. Inversion is good for the brain, Kayla. Just bring the head down lower than the heart, bring the body down. You hang out here, I don't mind, just lock the knees. Just lock your knees. If you do nothing else in this posture and just lock your knees, you've done good enough for the posture. You're stretching your hamstrings, contract your thighs, let your head fall down. The fresh oxygenated blood is being pumped into the brain right here, right now. You roll forward, guys, bring your head down more. Bring your head down more. Head down more, closest to the floor. Roll forward like a wheel. Use the biceps to pull. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Suck your stomach in, everybody. Pull and stretch, Pamela. Roll forward more, Pamela. You're not going to fall over because you're pulling back. Roll forward more. Roll forward more. Pull and stretch. Pull and stretch. Pull and stretch. Chin. Nice, Pamela. Good one. Come back out slowly. Feet together and arms by your side. Have a sip of water if you'd like. <clears throat> Triangle pose. Trikunasana. Let's go. Feet together, everybody. Arms over your head. Right leg step to the right. Big step. Four feet. Big step. Arms down parallel to the floor. Good. Hips forward. Push the hips forward and bring your arms back. Upper body back. Arms back. Right foot turns out. Bend your right knee. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down until your right thigh bicep is parallel to the floor. Hips in line, arms back, body back. Take a deep breath, everybody. Inhale, breathing, go. Move both arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the right knee. Put your fingertips between the big toe and the second toe. Shorter step, Kayla, and sit down lower. Good, bend the knee more to get your hips down lower. Hips down lower, everybody. Your hips should not come up anymore, please. They stay down there. Bend the knee more, Katie, to get your hips lower. Bend the knee more, Katie, even more. If you can, if you can, even more. Sit down lower, Kevin, a little bit more. Kevin, hips down lower. 
Look up and stretch up. Push the left hip forward, everybody. Push the right knee back with your right elbow. Turn or twist your upper body back like spine twisting posture. Keep your left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come back out, other side. Right foot turns in, left foot turns out. Inhale, breathing, take a deep breath. Bend the left knee to sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Bounce like a motorcycle ride to make sure you are sitting down low enough. Your left thigh bicep femur bone should be parallel to the floor. Upper body back, arms back, take a deep breath, inhale, move both arms at the same time. Left elbow in front of your left knee. Put your fingertips between the big toe and the second toe. Lift the chest up. Look up and look up at the ceiling. Look up. Lift the body up and, and bend the knee more, darling. Bend the knee more to sit down lower. Lift the body up and lift the body up. Body up. More body up and more body up. Lift the body up. Lift the chest up. Look up at the ceiling. Touch your chin to the right shoulder. The profile of your face should be visible from the side. Push the right hip down and forward. Push your left knee back with your left elbow at the same time turn or twist your upper body back like spine twisting posture keep your right knee locked everybody right foot should be flat on the floor inhale come back out good one pamela feet together arms up arms by your side take a deep breath inhale through the nose exhale through the nose second set feet together arms up right leg step to the right big step arms down parallel right foot turns out bend your right knee Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, all the way down, arms back, body back, take a deep breath, inhale, move both arms at the same time, all five fingers together, guys, your fingers are not opening, they're touching and they're stretching, five fingers stretching up, five fingers stretching down, in equal and opposite directions, keeping the chest, the diaphragm, the ribcage open, marriage between your heart and your lungs, make them work together by breathing through the nose, close your mouth, look up at the ceiling, take a deep breath, inhale, lift the chest up, go and touch the ceiling, push the left hip forward, push the right knee back, turn, twist your upper body back, like spine twisting, stretch up more, everybody stretch up, touch the ceiling, inhale, come back out, last one, right foot turns in, left foot turns out, take a deep breath, inhale, Bend the left knee to sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. That's it. Bend the knee, sit down. Do the um, Katie, bring the heel out. You made, you turned it in. Yes, good. You keep this foot here. Now adjust the right hip. Bring the right hip forward. And yes, good. Sit down, arms back. Take a deep breath and go. Move both arms at the same time. And you're using the leverage of your elbow against the knee to turn or twist your upper body back. Bend the knee more, Pamela. Bend the knee more to sit down lower. If you can, a little bit even more lower, even more lower. Sit down, don't let your hips come up anymore. Turn, twist your upper body back. Lift the chest up. You're trying to touch the ceiling, guys. Imagine the right arm is lifting the whole body up towards the ceiling, no collapsing. Lift the chest up, push the right hip forward, push the left knee back. Turn, twist back, like spine twist. Stretch up one more time, touch the ceiling. Inhale, come back up. Good work, everybody. Good one, Margaret. Feet together, arms up, arms by your side. Breathing through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through your nose. Standing separate leg, head to knee. Feet together, inhale, arms up. Palms touch, only the thumbs crossed. Arms touching your ears. Right leg step to the right, big step. Turn your body to the right side. Turn your left hip forward one, two, three, four, five times. Your two heels should be in one line on the floor. So Katie, back heel more towards the right foot. So more in. Yes, awesome. Heels in line. Arms with your ears, please. Chin to the chest. Look at your chest. Don't look forward. Don't look at the floor. Look at your chest as you go down. Stomach in as you go down. It will force you to balance. It will make you balance. It will make you compress. Stomach sucked in, looking at your chest. Forehead should touch the knee. You know exactly what needs to happen, guys. Forehead should be on the knee, not your nose, not your eyebrows. You can bend the right knee forward. That is A-OK -okay to do. Forehead should touch the knee. Compress your throat for 10 seconds. You can put your fingertips on the floor. Pamela, hands forward beyond the toes. Fingertips, good. Now bring your hands closer to each other. Push the floor, lock your elbows. Your arms should be straight. In the end, you try to lock the knee. So push the knee back with your forehead, lock both knees, bring your palms back together and then slowly come up. Inhale as you slowly 
come up with both knees locked. Take a deep breath, do a 185 degree turn. Turn the right hip forward, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Hips in line from the side, heels in line on the floor, back foot 45 degrees. Arms with your ears, chin to the chest. Exhale, you go down. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Keep the right hip forward, please. Don't let the right hip go back. Hips in line, forehead to the knee. You hold it there for 10 seconds, become a statue. Compress your throat, compress your thyroid, your parathyroid glands for 10 seconds. Eyes open, breathing normal. You can put your fingertips on the floor beyond your toes. Lock your elbows, keep your arms straight. Push the knee back with your forehead. Try to lock your knee with your forehead. Palms back together, arms, palms together. Inhale, slowly come back out. Face the side, feet together, arms by your side. Take a deep breath, second set. Feet together, inhale, arms up, palms touch, elbows locked. Right leg step to the right, big step. Turn your body to the right side. Turn the left hip forward beyond your flexibility. One, two, three, four, five times. Hips in line, arms with your ears. Chin to the chest, exhale, you go down. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Forehead to the knee, keep it touching. Don't lose the contact, maintain the contact. That is the most difficult thing to do. You touch it once, that's awesome, that's easy. You keep it touching for 10 seconds, that is the main challenge. You keep compressing, maximum weight to your front leg, so the right side hip sticking up to the ceiling. Hips should be in one line. Your palms together, everybody. Bring your hands, palms together. Challenge yourself. Lock your knees, both knees locked. Inhale, slowly come up. Arms and head together as you slowly come back up. Take a deep breath. Do a 185 degree turn. Turn the right hip forward. One, two, three, four, five times. Hips in line. Arms with your ears. Exhale, go down. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Go down, slowly touch your forehead to your knee. Good one, and very good. Forehead to the knee. You touch it there. You forget about it for at least 10 seconds. If you can for 15, 20 seconds. If you can for throughout the posture. Your maximum weight into your front leg. Left side hip sticking up to the ceiling. Hips in line from the side. Palms together. Forehead to the knee. Lock both knees and then come back up with your arms and head touching. Slowly come up, face the side, feet together, arms by your side. Come back to the middle of your mat where you started for tree pose, Tadasana. Let's go, lift the right leg up. Right leg lift up in front of you. Hold your right foot with your left hand, pull it up as high as possible. Be gentle with the right knee. Right knee goes down to the floor. Push the right knee back. Simultaneously push your hips forward. Hips in line, shoulders in line, upper body back. Right hand up first in the center of your chest. If you can balance there, left hand up as well. Namaskar. If your foot slips at all, continue to hold the foot. Stretch your spine to the ceiling. Lift the chest up. Lock your left knee, left thigh contracted and change, leg down, arms down, other side, left leg up, grab your left leg in front of you, hold the foot, pull the left foot up, be careful of your left knee, let the left knee go down, push the knee back, simultaneously push your hips forward, hips should be in one line, your two shoulders should be in one line from the side, upper body back, spine straight, stomach in, left hand up, right hand up, namaskar, Stretch the spine up out of your waist. Right knee locked. Your right thigh should be contracted. Breathing through the nose. Stretch up, stretch up. Lift the chest up. Change, leg down, arms down. Toe stand, Padangastasana. Eyes on the floor, look at the floor. Right leg over your left thigh. Place it wherever you feel comfortable onto the middle of your thigh. One or both hands up in the center of your chest. Inhale, breathing, gently bend your body down from your lower spine, your both hands, your 10 fingers touch the floor, then bend your knees slowly to sit down, bring your hips down, sit on your heel, slowly bring your hands to both sides of your body. 
balance with your fingertips push the floor good try and keep doing that push the floor chest up spine straight please before your hands do anything else pamela your chest up so bring the hands to the side of the body to the side of the body yes now push the floor with your fingertips to make your spine perpendicular to the floor spine straight left hand up right hand up namaskar lift your hips off the heel change good one katie good one come back out opposite the way you went down leg down arms down other side eyes on the floor left leg over your right thigh one or both hands up in the center of your chest look at the floor please don't look here and there you will be distracted look at one point on the floor meditate on that point bend your body down from the lower spine both hands touch 10 fingers touch then bend the knee to sit down gently bend your knee to sit down sit on your heel hands to both sides chest up spine straight do the namaskar but please make sure your spine is perfectly straight before your hands do anything chest up lift up stomach sucked in make sure you are breathing through your nose change come back out beautiful come back out everybody slowly come out opposite the way you went down leg down arms down turn around please have a savasana lie down on your back legs down arms down breathe I'll give you a minute When we move in pose, Pavanamatasana, right leg up, bend your right knee, interlock 10 fingers, grab your right leg two inches below the knee, get a good grip, inhale, pull your right knee out and down to your right shoulder, completely avoiding your rib cage. Your left leg should be straight, left calf muscle touching. 
chin to the chest, neck flat on the floor, no gap underneath. Relax your shoulders, keep your elbows in. Pull down harder, make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in your lower abdomen and change. Leg down, arms down, other side, left leg up, grab your left leg. Same position, two inches below the knee. Get a good grip, inhale, pull your left knee out and down to your left shoulder, completely avoiding your rib cage. Right leg straight, calf muscle touching. Chin to the chest, neck flat on the floor, eyes open, breathing normal. Pull the left knee down until you feel maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Make sure your hip joint hurts. Pull down harder, pull down one more time. Change, leg down, arms down, both legs up. Grab your opposite elbows around the legs. Compact grip, nice and tight grip. Chin to the chest, neck flat on the floor. Eyes open, breathing normal through your nose. Eventually in the future, when you improve your skeletal system, your bones and joints enough, your whole spine will be flat on the floor. And change, legs down, arms down, savasana, relax, breathe. Second set, right leg up, bend your right knee, interlock 10 fingers, grab your right leg two inches below the knee, take a deep breath, inhale, pull. Pull your right knee down to your right shoulder, avoiding the rib cage, stimulating, massaging right side, ascending colon. Give it a good massage. Such an amazing posture to do first thing in the morning. Pull it down, give it a good massage, pull and pull and pull. Change, leg down, arms down, other side, left leg up, grab your left leg, same position. Inhale and pull. Pull your left knee out and down to your left shoulder, avoiding your rib cage. Avoiding the rib cage, massaging the descending colon, maximum stimulation, in left side internal organs, pull down harder, second set, pull and pull and pull. Change, leg down, arms down, both legs up. Grab your opposite elbows around the legs, compact, nice and tight. Chin to the chest, neck flat on the floor, eyes open, breathing normal. Eventually, your whole spine flat. This is massaging your transverse colon. Breathe into the pressure, increase the pressure, squeeze your knees tight and change. Legs down, arms down. Take a deep breath. We're gonna do a Bikram yoga sit up. Listen carefully, please. Bring your feet together, flex your feet towards your face. Do not let your heels come off the floor. Arms over your head, chin to the chest, inhale, breathing, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk, for it, touch the knees, face the front. Lie down on your stomach for Bhujangasana, cobra posture. Put your chin on the floor, hands under your shoulders. Baby fingers in line with the side of your arms. Fingertips in line with the top of the shoulders. Your palms flat, legs together like a cobra. One leg like a cobra tail. Zip your legs up, lock your knees, point the toes. Look up at the ceiling, everybody. Take a deep breath, inhale, look up, come up. Everybody come up using 100% of your back strength only to lift yourself up until only your belly button is touching the floor, the rest of your upper body in the air. Press the feet down, Elaine. Your knees should come off the floor, Elaine. Press the feet down. Your kneecaps should come off the floor. Lock your knees more. Contract your hips and your thighs. Lift the chest up. Come up half inch more. Chain, come down. Look to the right. Arms by your side. Elaine, you're coming up too high, darling. So you're coming up. Um, you shouldn't come up that high so your belly button lifts off the floor, right? So if you touch your belly button, that should be on the floor. Then from there upwards, everything else goes backward bending. You're compressing the lower back muscles, the lower spine. So as the belly button stays on the floor, the rest of the upper body goes up in the air. Then you can use the gentle push with your hands to make that backward bend. Remember, it's a backward bend. You're not going up. You are curling up, right? So it starts with the eyes, then the chin, then the cervical, then the thoracic, the lumbar, the coccyx. Everything goes vertebra by vertebra, part by part, piece by piece. Start again. Go slow, chin on the floor, hands under your shoulders, palms flat, legs together, feet together, elbows in. 
all five fingers together, Pamela, all five fingers together. Close the fingers, good. Fingers should be pointing forward, guys. Fingers do not turn out, they do not turn in. Elbows in, legs together, feet together. Look up, take a deep breath now, slowly lift up. Look for the back wall, look for the back wall, that's it. Now your belly button touching the floor, upper body in the air, good. Keep the knees locked, lock your knees again. Press the top of your feet into the floor. Relax your face. Lift the chest up. Shoulders down, chest up. Shoulders down, chest up. Chest up, chest up. Change. Beautiful. Look to the left. Arms by your side. Much better. That was awesome, guys. Relax and breathe. Breathe into your lower back muscles. Eyes open. Mouth closed. Locust pose, Salavasana. Arms straight position. Bring your arms under your body. So your arms and your elbows go invisible underneath your stomach. Your palms flat. Chin on the floor. Look forward, everybody. Left leg relaxed on the floor. Kitty, uh, locust pose. Look forward. Left leg relaxed. Right leg solid concrete. Lift the right leg up. Off the floor. Let's go. Right leg lift up at a 45 degree angle. Lift the leg up higher, keep the toes pointed, knee locked, leg up, leg up, leg up, chain. Come down, right leg relaxed on the floor, left leg solid concrete. Take deep breath, everybody. Inhale, lift the left leg up, pointed toes, knee locked. Sole of your left foot facing the ceiling. Left thigh contracted, leg up, leg up, leg up one more time, chain. Come down, other side, both legs this time actually. Turn your head in, put your mouth on the floor. Readjust your grip, elbows closer, your palms flat. Chin on the floor, please. Look forward. For second part, put your mouth on the floor. Turn your head in, put your mouth on the floor. Breathing through the nose. Take a deep breath, inhale, breathing both legs. Lift up off the floor without bending your knees. Lift up. Push the floor, lift the legs up. Don't let your shoulders come off the floor, guys. Lift the legs up. Don't give up. Struggle harder. Legs up, legs up, legs up. Chain. Come down. Arms by your side. Look to the right. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Deep inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. Completely surrender. Second set, arms straight, arms under your body, your palms flat, put your chin on the floor. Ready, everybody, second set, left leg relaxed, inhale, right leg lift up, off the floor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, change, other side, right leg relaxed, inhale, left leg lift up, go, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. Good. Both legs together this time. Turn your head in. Put your mouth on the floor. Mouth on the floor. Make your legs one leg. Elbows out more, Elaine. Elbows should be flat, darling. Elbows need to be flat. There's a big gap between your elbows and the floor. Good. Flatten out the elbows. Flat. Palms flat. Mouth flat on the floor. Inhale, take a deep breath, lift both legs up. Good one, Elaine, that's awesome. Lift both legs up, lift both legs up. Doesn't matter how high your legs are coming up. It is more important to keep the shoulders down, Elaine. Shoulders down, lift the legs up. Shoulders down, lift the legs up. Good, now push the floor with your hands and your palms. Push the floor, legs up, legs up, legs up. Chain, much better, relax. Arms by your side and breathe. Take deep breaths. Completely relax. Next is full locust pose. Purna Salabhasana. Arms out like airplane wings. Your palms flat. Put your chin on the floor. Legs together, feet together. Make sure you have only one leg like a cobra tail. Zip your legs up. Lock your knees, everybody. Take a deep breath. Inhale, breathing. Arms, body, head, legs. 
everything off the floor like a 747 ready to take off. Look up at the ceiling, guys. Look up at the ceiling. Bring your arms up. Pull your arms back. Fingertips should be same level as your head. Only your hips are touching the floor. Rest of your entire body in the air. Everybody breathing. Exhale. Come up one more time. Change. Slowly go down. Look to the right. Arms by your side. Savasana. Take deep breaths. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Make sure you are breathing, taking deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. And we go for a second set. Let's go. Arms out, palms flat, chin on the floor. Look forward, legs together, feet together, knees locked, hips and thighs contracted. Take a deep breath, inhale, full lungs go. Arms, body, head, legs, everything, everything, everything off the floor. Give it everything you've got. Look up, guys. Nothing forward. Look up at the ceiling. Look for the back wall. It's a backward bend. Arms back, everybody. Open up the chest and the heart, the rib cage. Legs up off the floor, please. Legs up higher. Chest up, chest up. Come up, go up, more up. Change. Slowly go down. Look to the left. Arms by your side. Take deep breaths. Completely relax. Eyes open. Breathing normal. You go on for your full spinal articulation, backward bending, the deepest back bend against gravitation. Ready? Let's go, guys. Chin on the floor. Hold your feet from the outside, all five fingers together. Get a good grip. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Take a deep breath. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently kick. Both legs back and up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Look up at the ceiling and kick up at the ceiling. Continuously keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Look up and look up at the ceiling and look for the back wall. Look up, lift the chest up. Keep kicking. Roll forward on your stomach and kick up harder. Kick up more. Kick up one more time. Change. Slowly come back down. Relax and breathe. Take deep breaths. Let's go second set. Put your chin on the floor. Hold your feet from the outside. Make sure you're only grabbing the feet. You're not really pulling onto the feet. And make a mindful decision to relax the shoulders completely, please. Inhale, take a deep breath. Fill up your lungs to the maximum. And then slowly, gently, just kick, 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 kick the legs back first. And then up. As you kick up, now you've got to look up and kick up. So 360 degrees backward bending happening against the force of gravitation. Roll forward on your stomach and kick up harder. Kick up more. Kick up one more time. Chain slowly. Go down. Arms by your side. Look to the left. Breathe through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Deep inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. Breathing up and down your spine, taking your breath up and down your spine. All these energy channels, all the nerves go to the rest of the body through the spine. The spine is the highway to the brain. Put your chin on the floor, please. Gently hands under your shoulders. Push the floor, come to the top of your mat for fixed firm pose. Supta Vajrasana. Sit down Japanese style. Separate your feet. Hips touch the floor between your feet. Heels touch your hips on both the sides. You can finish your posture if you know exactly what you're doing. Be gentle. Take it easy. Go slow. One elbow at a time. Drop your head back. The top of the head, sh your shoulders, upper body should be relaxed on the floor. If you're down there, grab your elbows. So Pamela, feet open, Pamela. Come back out, Pamela. Come back out, please. So you got to separate the feet. Open the feet. Yes, good. Now make sure the toes do not turn out. The toes are pointing back. Good. If your knees hurt, you can open your knees. That's not a problem. If you can keep them together, good for you. You take it slow. Isabel, toes are turning out, darling. Toes should go back. Toes back. The top of your feet are flat on the floor, please. You've got to be very mindful of this. And then slowly come back out, hands on the on your feet, push the floor with your elbows, come up, turn around, lie down, savasana, relax, completely relax. Take deep breaths, breathing 
breathing, breathing. Second set, feet together, flex your feet, arms up, inhale everybody, take a deep breath, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, double jerk for it, touch the knees, wait, come to the top of your mat again, separate the feet, hips touch the floor, heels touch the hips, hands on your toes, go back down one elbow at a time, upper body should be relaxed on the floor, you are not forcing anything in this posture, please be gentle. Take it slow, grab your elbows, each other. Pull your elbows down to the floor. Lift the chest up, lift your stomach up higher, creating a perfect human bridge under your back. Keep your eyes open. Keep your breathing normal, coming in through the nose, going out through the nose. Lift the chest up, guys. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Slowly come back out. Hands on your feet. Push the floor with your elbows. Come up, turn around, lie down. Savasana, relax, completely relax. Take deep breaths, breathing, breathing, breathing. Ready for half tortoise pose, Ardha Kurmasana, stretching extension of your whole spine. Now for half tortoise pose, your challenge today is to keep your hips touching the heels. Let's try, feet together, arms up, chin to the chest, inhale, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk, forehead, touch the knees, face the front, come to the middle of your mat, sit down Japanese style, feet together, knees together. Now your heels should not separate guys. Your heels are touching, you are sitting on the heels and your challenge is to keep the heels touching the hips as you're going down in this posture. Yes, arms up, palms touch, elbows locked, do the best you can. Stomach sucked in, bend your body down slowly, come down, touch your forehead to the floor, baby fingers touching the floor, rest of your arms in the air. Amazing, everybody, amazing. That was so good, everybody. Your forehead touch the floor, baby fingers touching the floor, rest of your arms in the air, hips touching the heels, stretch your spine in equal and opposite directions like balancing stick posture. Your spine is extending each and every vertebra opening. Chin more forward, Katie, if you can, good one. Stretch forward, forehead on the floor, Katie, put your forehead down, that's it. Now feel the spine stretch and stretch and stretch. Inhale, come up, arms and head together, arms by your side. Turn around, lie down, savasana, relax, let it go. Take deep breaths. Second set. Give an energizing sit up, guys. Let's go feet together, arms up. Take a big inhale, full lung sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk for it. Touch the knees, face the front one more time. Sit down Japanese style, feet together, knees together, arms up, elbows locked, keep your chin up, hips touching the heels throughout the posture, stomach sucked in, bend your body down slowly, forehead touch the floor, baby fingers touching the floor already, elbows locked, elbows off the floor. As soon as your forehead touches, now you extend the whole spine, each and every vertebra. Your head goes down below the heart level. The heart is sending fresh oxygenated blood into the brain, re-energizing all your brain cells. Keep stretching, guys. Stretch and stretch and stretch. Inhale, slowly come back up. Arms by your side. Turn around, relax on your back. Savasana. Relax, let it go. Breathe through the nose. Ready for camel pose. Deepest back bend. Final back bend. Camel pose. Are you ready? Feet together, everybody. Arms up, take a deep breath, inhale, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk for it, touch the knees. Face the front one more time. 
Stand up on your knees for this one. Open your knees six inches. Open your feet six inches. Hands on your hips, thumbs outside, fingers pointing down. Hands on your butt. Inhale, breathing. Push your hips forward first. Gently drop your head back. Look back. Come back halfway. Grab your right heel with your right hand. Grab your left heel with your left hand. Thumb outside, fingers inside. Get a good grip. Take a deep breath. Keep your eyes open, please. As you exhale, push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward towards the front. 360 degrees backward bending for gravitation. Push forward more, everybody. Your back is supposed to hurt. Push forward, contract your hips and push. Kevin, grab the heels with your palms. Grab the heels with your whole palm, Kevin. Get a good grip with your whole hand. Get a good grip. With, yes, more, Kevin. More, more, more. Grab the whole heel and change. Slowly, hands on your hips. Come back up, chest up. Turn around, lie down, savasana, relax. So if you think about it, guys, the grip for camel is exactly the same grip for rabbit, except one grip is helping you to do a backward bend. The same grip is helping you to do a forward bend in rabbit. So if you think about it, your thumbs outside, fingers inside, you grab the whole heel. The dialogue says, Hands, palms full with your heel. So you grab the heel with the whole hand, just not just the fingertips. Try again, second set. Let's go feet together, arms up, chin to the chest, inhale, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. Let's go again, guys. Stand up on your knees, open the knees more this time, eight to 10 inches between the knees, six inches between the feet, hands on your hips. Keep the spine supported at all times. So hands on your hips, Pamela, the other way. Yes, good. Elbows back more to open the chest. Elbows are close to each other to open the chest. Push the hips forward. Gently drop your head back. Come back. Lean back. Grab the right heel. Grab the left heel. The grip is very, very, very important. Grab the heels and then gently push forward. Do not compromise the grip for the pushing. Grab the, grab the heels and push forward as much as you can according to the body that you have today. Keep pushing, opening up your hips and pelvis, opening up your chest and rib cage, opening up your throat. Push forward everything, push forward, push and push and push. Gently hands on your hips, come up chest up. Good one, Teresa, good one, Margaret. Relax on your back, please, Savasana, let it go, breathe. Sasangasana, feet together, arms up, chin to the chest, inhale, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. Let's go feet together, knees together. Bring the towel over your heels if you need it. Grab the heels over the towel. Again, the grip is thumbs outside, fingers inside. Grab the heels, chin to the chest, look at your chest. Stomach in, you go down the other way and the other way. You can put your hands on the floor and that's okay. Hands beside the knees and then go. Chin to the chest, forehead touch the knees, lift your hips up. The top of your head will touch the floor. Roll forward like a wheel until your arms and elbows are straight. If there's a gap between your forehead and your knees, walk your knees one by one to meet the forehead. Eliminate the gap. Roll forward. Suck your stomach in. Relax the shoulders, everybody. Keep pulling. Don't stop pulling. Pull harder. Roll forward. Lift your hips up one more time. Change. Beautiful, Elaine. Come back out. Turn around. Lie down. Savasana. Legs down. Arms down. Take deep breaths. Breathing through the nose. Remember, guys, one third of the body weight is in your head in this posture. The other two thirds of the weight you are pulling. So you want to make sure you're pulling really hard. Not a lot of body weight in your head. Your neck is in a very vulnerable position in this posture. You don't want to put, to put too much pressure on those muscles. Be gentle. Second set. Let's go feet together. Arms up. Take a deep breath. Energizing. Sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. 
face the front one more time. Sit down Japanese style, feet together, knees together, grab the heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. You start to pull right here, right now. Pull the body in, tuck your chin in, look at your chest, suck your stomach in, roll in, forehead, touch the knees, lift your hips up. Automatically, the top of your head will touch the floor. Think how much you can round your spine, how much you can compress the front side of your body. Stomach sucked in, your chin is digging into your chest. Relax the shoulders more. Keep pulling, guys. Pull harder, pull harder, pull harder. Roll forward, lift your hips up one more time. Inhale, slowly come back out. Turn around, lie down, Savasana. Relax, breathe, let it go. Surrender, take deep breaths. Surrender to Savasana re-energizing, revitalizing for the next posture. Next posture is a final compression posture and a final extension posture. Janushirasana with Pashimottanasana. Feet together, arms over your head. Take a deep breath through the nose. Inhale, breathing, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. Face the front, please. Sit facing the front. Right leg out, corner wise, left leg in. Bend your left knee. Create pressure against your right thigh bicep with your left foot sole. Arms over your head sidewise. Stretch up, turn to the right, grab your right foot under the toes. Pull the toes towards your face to get your right heel off the floor. Then stomach in, forehead to the knee, just like rabbit posture. Forehead should touch the knee. Compression of your throat, compression of your thyroid, your parathyroid glands. Important glands for your immune system, digestive system, endocrine system, forehead to the knee, elbows bend down to the floor, left elbow down more, left shoulder down more, roll into the left side, everybody, forehead touch the knee, lock the knee, other side, left leg out, right leg in, inhale, arms up again, take a deep breath, arms up, turn to the left, grab your left foot, same position, grab the left foot, pull the toes in, Flex your foot, left heel comes off the floor. Stomach in, just like rabbit posture, forehead to the knee. If your forehead does not touch the knee, bend the knee up, it's okay. Forehead should touch the knee, throat choked. Keep the compression for 10 more seconds. Bend your elbows down to the floor. Right elbow down more, right shoulder down more. Roll into the right side, roll in, roll in. Forehead touch the knee, change both legs out. Lie down immediately. Inhale, breathing, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk for it, touch the knees. Grab the big toes with your middle index fingers. Walk your hips back towards the back wall 10, 15, 20 times. Droite et gauche, droite et gauche, droite et gauche, right and left, right and left, right and left. Flex the feet, lock your knees, contract your thighs. Get your heels off the floor, half inch gap between your heels and the floor. Then only bend your elbows down, stretch your body forward from your lower back towards the front, look forward, chin forward, elbows open and elbows open out, yes, now pull the body forward, pull the body forward, relax the shoulders back and use the biceps, good, relax the shoulders, more back, shoulders, more back and stretch your neck forward, look forward, pull and stretch, pull and stretch, pull and stretch, chain, turn around, good one, turn around, relax on your back, take deep breaths, energize for second set, Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Take a deep breath, second set, let's go. Feet together, flex your feet, arms over your head, chin to the chest, everybody inhale, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. Face the front one more time. Right leg out, please, left leg in, bend your left knee, arms up, turn to the right, grab your right foot, forehead to the knee, 20 seconds. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Change other side, left leg out, right leg in, arms up. Inhale, take a deep breath, stretch up, turn to the left, grab your left foot, forehead to the knee. Let's go 20 seconds, keep it touching. Final compression, last set, last side compressing the internal organs on the left side of your body. Keep your stomach sucked in. There should be a big gap between your stomach and your thigh. Push the knee down with your forehead. Bend the knee and bend the knee, darling. Bend the knee up, bend the knee up. That's okay to do. And bend the knee up, forehead compressing. Forehead to the knee. Second set, you push the knee down with your forehead. Try to lock the knee with your forehead. 
Left heel will come off the floor. Flex the left foot, everybody. Good practice for your standing head to knee for tomorrow. Forehead to the knee, lock the knee. Good, both legs out, lie down. Take a deep breath, inhale, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. Grab your big toes, walk your hips back, right and left and right and left and right and left and right and left. Several times, right, left, right, left, right, left. Get your heels off the floor. Flex your feet, everybody. Then bend your elbows down. Let's go. Pull the body forward. Stretch your body forward. Your legs are stretching. Your hips are stretching. Lower back stretching. Whole back stretching. 360 degree angle stretching of your whole body. Look forward, Pamela. Look forward. Chin forward. Good. Stretch the neck forward as well. Keep pulling the big toes. Pull and stretch. Pull and stretch. Pull and stretch. Change. Turn around. Relax. On your back. Savasana. Final posture. Ardha Matsyandrasana. Spine twisting twisting the spine, clockwise range of motion, each and every vertebra, anti-clockwise range of motion for each and every vertebra of your spine. Ardha Matsyandrasana, feet together, arms up, take a deep breath, inhale, everybody sit up, grab your toes, exhale, double jerk, face the left side of the room, please bend your left knee on the floor in front of you, bring your right foot up and over the left knee corner, Right foot should be flat on the floor. Your two hips should be sitting comfortably on the floor. Inhale, left arm up and over. Turn the wrist, grab your left knee with your left hand. Right hand on the floor behind you, close to the base of your spine. Push the floor with your hand. Lift the chest up, everybody. Inhale, lift the chest up. Look over your left shoulder. Look all the way back. Turn, twist your upper body back so the joints of each and every vertebra twist like a pearl necklace. Look the other way, Isabel. Look over the right shoulder and look back and twist and twist and twist. Change, other side. Bend your right knee on the floor. Left leg up and over the right knee corner. Left foot should be flat on the floor. Your two hips are sitting comfortably on the floor. So Pamela, bring your foot to the corner of the knee. So bring the foot forward. No, 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 the other foot that's on the floor. Yes, good. The heel is only touching the hip. The heel is touching the hip, the right heel, good. Spine straight, go ahead, right arm up and over. Push the left knee back with your right elbow. Grab the right knee with your right hand. Left hand on the floor. If you can, grab your inner right thigh with your left hand fingertips. Everybody breathing, inhale, lift the chest up, look over your left shoulder, look back and twist your upper body back. Each and every vertebra twisting. Look back from the corner of your left eye. Look back and twist and twist and twist. Change. Bravo. Legs down, arms down. We are done. Final breathing exercise. Couple body breathing. Blowing in firm pose. Let's go. Final sit up. Make it energizing. Feet together. Flex your feet. Arms up. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Sit up. Grab your toes. Exhale. Double jerk. Forehead. Touch the knees. Face the front, please. Sit down Japanese style. Hands on your knees, elbows locked. Keep your spine straight. Keep your chest lifted. Stomach completely relaxed. You're blowing in and out through the mouth using your abdomen muscles. Chest up, ready everybody. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one, two, three, four, stronger, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty, second set faster, swallow a couple of times, chest up, spine straight. Elbows locked, look forward, ready everybody, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stomach, 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 stomach. 60. Honor your practice. Have some water. Turn around, lie down for your final savasana. Relax. Take two minutes for your final savasana. Very important for your mind, for your body, for your breath, for your heart. Relax. Completely 
relax. Legs down, arms down, close your mouth, close your eyes, and just breathe. Take deep breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Inhale, energize your body, exhale, relax your body. Use your breath to calm down your nervous system, bring your heart rate down, your body temperature comes down, cooling down before you leave, before you get your day started. Have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead of you. Have a beautiful Monday, everybody. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Namaste.